Thanks for listening to the HCH podcast. We are building a community of short-term rental hosts and property managers, plus a valued audience of industry professionals. To help us on our journey, please hit the subscribe button wherever you listen. It will help us to grow this platform and increase the amount of quality free education we can share with you, our valued audience. Also, in April 2024, we will be hosting our first event in collaboration with the Property Investor Show. Holiday Cottage Handbook Live will be held at Excel London on the 19th and 20th of April. There will be panel sessions and seminars, plus a bunch of exhibitors from across the short-term rentals industry. Tickets are free. All you need to do is register online. Head to propertyinvestor.co.uk for further details. Hello and welcome to the Holiday Cottage Handbook Podcast, the platform which helps you become the best and most profitable short-term rentals manager. I'm your host, James Varley, and today we'll be talking to another special guest from the STR industry. Bob Garner is the founder and CEO of Enviro Rental, and he will be sharing five simple things that every host and property manager can do to make their rental more eco-friendly. Now, our goal here at HCH is to share everything you need to know about buying and managing short-term rentals, whether you're a host, investor, or property manager, to get the most out of our platform, make sure you head to the website. It's holidaycottagehandbook.com, where you can sign up for our free weekly newsletter and download our free ebook, which offers a comprehensive guide to buying and managing short-term rentals. Also, make sure you follow us on social media. We're active on Facebook, X, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and YouTube. You can get all the links from our website, holidaycottagehandbook.com. Before we speak to our special guest, I want to tell you all about HCH Financial Services. This is a new brand that specializes in providing access to the best holiday let mortgages on the market. Their team of award-winning brokers provide an unrivaled service. Whether you're looking for your first holiday let loan, a remortgage or a financial product like life insurance or will writing. The team can also help you secure a range of other products, including residential, buy to let and HMO mortgages, along with bridging finance and equity release. To get in touch with the team, call 0333 1234 536 or email advice at hchfs.co.uk. You can also visit the website for further details, hchfs.co.uk. Thank you for listening to the HCH podcast. It's time now to welcome our special guest. Bob Garner is the founder and CEO of Enviro Rental, a free resource that is helping vacation rental owners and managers make their properties eco-friendly. Bob, it's a pleasure to welcome you to the podcast. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. I'm having a great day so far, so let it continue. All right. Amen to that. Uh, okay, let's start with you then. Tell us about your journey in the short-term rentals world. How did you get involved in this industry? Yeah, well, uh, me and my partner, we were living in London. We both had corporate jobs and we got so sick of that world uh, where they pay you a load of money and they work you really hard. And at the end of the week, you just don't feel like you've achieved anything you know, meaningful. So we decided to give all that up. Um, we sold our house and moved to Italy and bought a farmhouse, a derelict farmhouse in rural Italy, and then spent a couple of years renovating that into seven apartments um, that we let out. And we tried to, to build sustainability in that from day one, which is a big theme of our conversation today and a big theme of my life. But it gave us the opportunity to find some real balance in our lives because we take the winter off because we're closed. And in the summer, we're full on looking after the guests, hands on, hosting them and making sure they have a wonderful stay. So it was a complete shift of mentality and attitude and work for us. And we absolutely love it because it just suits us down to the ground. Who knew I could be a good host, but it seems I can. So whereabouts are you in Italy? And just tell us how your journey has evolved uh, being a host over the years. We are in rural Italy in a place called Le Marche, which is one of the 20 regions of Italy. So if you're looking at an Italian map, you're coming down the coast from Venice uh, and we are opposite to Croatia. So uh, near the Adriatic Sea. It's a beautiful part of the world. And tell us then, how, how has your hosting journey changed over the years? Um, I guess the, the, the change for us is, is I guess we we hit the ground running and found out that we loved what we were doing. We really loved being on site, hosting the guests 
making sure they have a great stay, uh, having a pizza party with them every week, um, and, and making sure that they get just what they want. Um, and that's fantastic. I guess the journey's changed as we've built sustainability into our uh, offering. And we've really found that that's worked for the guests, it's worked for our business, and it's worked for the planet. So that's something that's built over the last 20 years and is now like a core part of everything that we do. Um, and that's why I go out and tell the world about it, because I think you can be hugely successful um, being environmentally friendly. It isn't just about doing something for the planet. It's about doing something for the guest and doing something for your business as well. And that's really crucial because that's what motivates most of us is to be successful, to make some money and to have a good time at the same time. During Holiday Cottage Handbook Live on the 19th and 20th of April, Super Control will be hosting personalised discovery sessions. Whether you're aiming to boost your bookings, streamline operations or enhance the guest experience, Super Control's experts can show you how the platform can transform your business. Discover the secrets to maximising visibility on platforms like Airbnb and Booking.com. Unlock powerful secrets to drive success, all while simplifying the process property management experience. Spaces for these 15-minute sessions are limited and they're filling up fast. Book your discovery session now by visiting supercontrol.co.uk forward slash property dash investor dash show and take the first step to making your holiday letting journey smoother and more profitable. So tell us about your interest in sustainability then and being eco-friendly. Where did that begin? To be honest, it really only started when we moved here. I mean, we were aware of it 20 years ago, but I couldn't claim that we were doing much in that field when we lived in London, apart from, you know, recycling and trying not to use too much single-use plastic. But I think when we moved here, we made that conscious decision that we were going to try and put sustainability front and centre. And so, you know, putting in solar panels, putting in the right insulation, going plastic, single-use plastic free straight away, putting in the clean, cleaning products, for digging a well, putting an organic vegetable patch in, et cetera, et cetera. Some of those things we could do from the beginning. And it just got us learning that, that the guests actually love it. They're really turned on by that idea that you're trying to be sustainable and you're helping them have a sustainable stay because the two go hand in hand. And what we learned over time is that they then go back and they realize what the, that they've been able to have a sustainable stay with our help and with our guidance. And it, what's really lovely, what I absolutely adore, is when they go back and then they write to us and say, oh, well, thank you. I've just now started using uh, who gives a crap toilet paper, for example, because it's recycled paper. And, and then you feel that you've made that little bit of a difference to one person's life. Um, and of course, for us, that's great. But we only see, you know, a hundred or so guests over the year. So we realized that our impact was relatively contained, relatively confined. And that's what I wanted to change. And that's why a few years ago, I started talking about blogging, about writing, about speaking about sustainability to try and get our whole industry engaged in that topic. Um, and of course, when I started, it was, it was very niche and very few people were that sort of interested. Everybody agrees with it in theory, but weren't putting it into practice. And that's that, that's that shift that I've seen over the years that's, that's becoming really exciting in our industry as people are starting to take it on board and talk about it and understand that it is important and that they have a role to play. So that blog you mentioned there has turned into Enviro Rental, uh, which obviously is flying the flag for sustainability in the short-term rental sector. So tell us about the story of Enviro Rental, what you do and, and who you're working for. Well, it goes back before Enviro Rental, a year earlier than that, uh, I set up Green VR Events. And Green VR Events is really to support the event industry in our, uh, in our sector to A, make their events more sustainable and B, put sustainability on the agenda. Because it occurred to me when I was thinking those years back, where is it that people learn? Where is it that people understand what's going on in our industry, the big topics, the important themes? And I thought, well, surely it's at the conferences. That's where you, you hear the big subjects. So I thought, right, well, if we can start to persuade the, the conferences and the events to be sustainable and to put that topic on the agenda, 
then that's a great opportunity to get that message out to thousands of people rather than just a few people. So it started there uh, and I started going to conferences and talking about sustainability. But then a year or so ago, um, I, I came to the conclusion from speaking to hundreds of property managers and hosts over the years that there were still blockers there. And the blocker, it was always the same. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. And so it occurred to me, of course, all that information is out there on the web if you've got the time and the inclination to look for it. So I thought, well, if I take all those resources, all that guidance, all that support, all that training, all that news, the roadmap, the steps that you have to take, everything you could possibly want to know around sustainability in short term rentals, I put it into one hub and I give it away to, for free to everybody because we don't want any barriers to entry. Then that takes away one of those obstacles for people who go, I don't know where to go and I don't know how to start. You start by coming to envirorental.earth and everything is there. Everything is free and all you need to do, I say all, is start to think about the steps that you can take to be sustainable. And so what we tried to do is take all my knowledge, all my experience and other people's as well, it isn't just me, uh, and put it in a one-stop free shop so that everything is there and you can take guidance and take the steps at the appropriate point in your business that works for your business, whether you're a property manager, a supplier in the industry or an ordinary host, it doesn't matter. The information is there. You don't need to look anywhere else. If you want sustainability and short-term rentals, come to envirorental.earth. Sustonica is the first sustainability badge for short-term rentals worldwide. Its standard allows owners and managers to make their homes consume less and to encourage guests to support the local community. The process is fully digital and within seven days you can appear in the search results of OTAs, including Booking.com in the filter Sustainable Properties Level 3+. Find out more at Sustonica.com. This leads us nicely in into our our next part, which is you going to be sharing five simple tips that every host and property manager can do to make their listing a little more eco friendly. So, what's number one on your list? Well, number one is always the same for me. It's think about your energy tariff. Uh, so we all get electricity, you know, from the from the network, and unless you have a lot of solar panels where you don't draw that e- electricity then think about that tariff. Most energy, most energy is provided from uh, fossil fuels, so gas or coal. And so what you can do is you talk to your energy to provider and say, I'd like to switch to a green energy tariff, please. It one, shouldn't cost you any more money. And B, it means that that money that you're spending is going into supporting renewables. And that's really crucial. What we need to do is shift that money away from, from carbon and shifted into renewables. Of course, it's the same electricity coming down the wire, but ultimately, as money is drawn away from carbon and pushed into renewables, then it's a great way of moving the industry. It's one of the biggest elements of your carbon footprint, so it's one of the biggest and the easiest things you can do. In most parts of the world, there is an option. Um, And if if your provider doesn't give you that option, switch providers. It isn't difficult. There's no interruption in the service and it shouldn't cost you any more money. So it's a quick, easy win that everybody can do. Every householder can do. Every individual can do as well. It isn't just about businesses. It's about switching your tariff. So that would be my number one and super easy. You can do it in just a few minutes and it won't cost you any money. The second one, I think, the second one I would talk about would be plastic. Plastic is an amazing product. It's a a fantastic product. We see it everywhere. It's in almost everything now, but it's an insidious product. As most people know, it doesn't biodegrade very quickly. It can take hundreds or thousands of years. Most of the time, a lot of this plastic is used once and then thrown away. And then unfortunately, it's thrown away. And even if it's recycled, the vast majority of it doesn't actually get recycled. So we are polluting our land, polluting our seas, polluting our rivers with this plastic. It's even getting into our food. So what I would say to people is think about what you can do about your single use plastic in your rental. And that's more likely to be mostly in your kitchen and in your bathroom. 
So think about the, the products that you use, you know, get rid of those shampoo bottles and those soap bottles, put a dispenser on the wall and refill it. It'll even be cheaper for you because you'll be buying in bulk. Look at the, look at the cleaning products that are possibly under the sink in that, in, in your kitchen. You buy these products that you use to clean, um, and, but then when they're empty, you throw them away. There is nothing wrong with that bottle. There's nothing wrong with that gun. It can be used again and again and again and again. So either keep that and just refill it with a product that you buy in bulk or go to a company that provides the, the gun or the spray and buy the products from them. It's, it'll be cheaper for you and you're just reusing that plastic again and again and again. And that makes sense because that, that plastic gun or spray is designed to last for years and years and years. So don't throw it away each time. That single use plastic that we need to get out of our businesses. So that would be my number two. And there's a lot more you can do around plastic and you'll find the guidance on our website on EnviroRental. All right. Okay. So number one, then switch to green energy tariff. Number two, try and get rid of the single use plastics. Yep. Number three. Number three, think about an accreditation scheme. Think about what you can do to get an assessment on your steps towards being greener. Even if you're at the beginning of that process, the very act of getting involved with an accreditation scheme gives you the next steps that you can take and encourages you to do so. So you might be talking to somebody like Sestonica, who oh, I know you know Vanessa and most people in our industry do, or, or Calia, which is Mark. Um, those have, have fantastic accreditation schemes. They'll sign you up. They'll start to assess where you are on your journey and they will encourage you to take some more steps. And then you get a badge that you can put on your website, on your branding, on your digital guide, wherever, on your listing even, and start to show people that you are sustainable. Because one of the things I'm always telling people is when you do all this stuff, you've got to tell people. Everyone's heard of green washing where you pretend you're doing more than you are. But when you do stuff and you don't tell anybody, that's green hushing, green hushing. You're, you're doing stuff, but you're not telling anybody. And the whole advantage of this or part of the advantage of this is to tell people what you're doing, get that out there. So those people who are looking for a green stay can find you and give you their business. So it's really, really important that you brand yourself and talk about it. And an accreditation scheme like Sestonica is a fantastic way to do that. Even if it may be any of your journey, it's still worth joining because it encourages you to take the next step. Yeah, 100%. I mean, if, you, if you're doing something great at your rental, make sure you shout it from the rooftops. If it's green stuff, if it's amazing Wi-Fi, whatever it is, make sure that your potential guests know what you're doing. Uh, number four then, Bob. Number four, I would say, uh, and of course, there are so many, think about investing in nature, in biodiversity. We talk about uh, the climate crisis all the time. We talk about the heating. We talk about the, the crazy weather that we're getting. But the impact of that is also on the environment. It's on nature. It's on animals. It's on flora and fauna. Think about what you can do in your area. It might be supporting a national park. It might be supporting a charity that's doing a river cleanup. Whatever it is in your locality, try and give that some support by your physical involvement or your financial support, whichever you feel you're able to do. And again, talk about that. It's something to be proud, out, proud about. So tell people that you're doing it. But really, we're not doing anywhere near enough to support our local nature. And that's really important because there is a, a biodiversity crisis uh, and we're seeing populations of species plummeting and we need to support them. So I think that's a really important part of, of, of environmental sustainability. Yeah, and as short-term rental hosts, we need to take care of our local environments and, uh, and be, be, good, be good advocates and be good protectors of them uh, as well. Uh, okay, then, number five. Number five, I would say, would be think about your web profile. So um, everyone talks about flying and how bad flying is, and we need to reduce our flying because it's terrible for our carbon footprint, and it is. But most people don't know that the footprint of the internet uh, in its totality 
has the same carbon footprint, around 4% of global greenhouse gases. So every website that we use, every time we go on the internet and draw up a page from the internet, that's using carbon. And that is easy to assess because there are mechanisms in place for understanding how much carbon is drawn each time you pull up a web page, each time you play a video, each time you look at a photograph. So think about the web footprint of your website. And there are lots of companies there that will help you bring that website uh, footprint down. But also think about how your website is hosted. And this is really easy. Is you go to a website called the Green Web Foundation. You'll find it in the footer of uh, the environment, environment Rentals website. So you can easily find it. And there you just plug in any URL, your URL or anybody else's URL, and you will instantly be told whether that website server is being run on green energy. And that's what you want. You want those servers to be run on renewable energy. And then if it is and you're lucky, you get a nice smiley badge and you can put that on your website as well on your footer as a demonstration that you're taking those steps. You'll find this in the footer of Enviro Rental. It's super easy. It costs you no money. If unfortunately you get the thumbs down, then talk to your web provider, talk to the, your service provider who runs your service and ask them what they're doing to move to a green energy tariff. Really easy. These things don't cost any money. It's just a few minutes of your time, but it makes a huge difference. All right. And a common theme there, if you're doing stuff that's eco-friendly, make sure that you talk about it. So uh, number one, uh, switch to the green energy tariffs. Uh, number two, try and reduce the single-use plastics. Number three, consider a accreditation scheme like uh, Sustonica or Carlia. Uh, number four, invest in your local biodiversity. And number five, think about your web profile. Now, Bob, excitingly, you're going to be talking about all of these subjects and sustainability in general in relation to the STR world uh, at your very first industry event, um, Scale Green, 23rd of April, in London. Tell us more about this. Yeah, this is super, super exciting. So a number of us have got together um, and we've put together uh, this program, a half day conference, the first one of its kind dealing with sustainability and short term rentals. It's been great to see our industry pick up on sustainability. And I've spoken at many conferences on this topic. And it's great also to see that some of these conferences have started to run them as an operation in a much greener way. But this is the first time in our industry that there's a dedicated conference to sustainability. So I'm super, super excited about it. And there's a number of us that are working on this uh, to make sure that it's a huge success for the 100 property managers who will hopefully be attending. So the idea behind it is that we're going to take those 100 property managers and not just give them information and advice as you would expect in a traditional conference, but we're going to give them time during the afternoon to start to work on their own climate action plan. What it is that they've learned and how they can apply that in their business and they go away with a, a, a partially completed plan um, that they can then implement. And afterwards, we then support them to implement that plan. So the idea is that we're taking this 100 property managers and hothousing them through the process and understanding what their blockers are so that A, that we can give them the resources if we haven't already got them, and B, see where their route map is and support them to get there. Because what we're finding is that, you know, a lot of people are, are wanting to do this, but they're finding it difficult to take that first step. So what we'll do within the conference, within that day, and we'll be using a lot of mechanisms to make sure that they're facilitated through it, is at the end of the day, they have a plan. They have a plan that works for their business. It may need some refinement and we'll help them with that along the way, but they, they walk out of the room, not just with some ideas in their head, but something down on paper or something down on a computer, which is the basis, the bones of a plan that they can implement. And that's super exciting. And we're gonna manage that process over time, monitor and support their behavior. And then hopefully, I think we'd bring out a white paper which will analyze what has been achieved, where the blockers were, and what the learning is for our industry and what we as professionals need to do to, to support the industry further. So I'm super excited about it. It's going to be a brilliant day. 
I really hope you're enjoying this episode of the HCH podcast. To help us grow, I have a small favor to ask. Hitting subscribe and rating our show wherever you listen will help us to grow our platform and share even more high quality free education about the short term rentals industry. Also, if you have a friend who you think would find our content useful, please send them a link or direct them to the website. It's holidaycottagehandbook.com. All right, back to the show. What are some of the subjects that you're going to be discussing and who's going to be there presenting and talking about this subject? Yeah, um, we've got um, some great presenters. We've got uh, Mark from Calio. We've got uh, Vanessa from Sistonica. We've got Graham from Sykes. Uh, we're going to be talking about advocacy and what we need to do to support sustainability in our industry. We're going to be talking about where the consumer is and what they're looking for and how we can meet that demand. Because we know from the Booking.com and Expedia surveys that around 80% of travellers would like to stay sustainably. So we need to get that education over to the property managers. We've got a topic on what the property managers can do to engage the owners because it's one thing to educate the property managers on what they can do but then they need to find a route and a vehicle for educating the the actual owners of the properties and getting them on board and a lot of that is about showing and demonstrating the business advantages of being sustainable what will make a difference to you financially how you'll get more profit how you'll get ahead of your competition how you'll get better reviews how you'll cut your costs etc we're going to be talking about all of that and we're going to be talking also of course about certification and what the advantages of that as, as we've touched on already in this chat and a number of other topics we're going to be going through as well so you'll find it all on the website and um Most of the speakers are booked in now, so it's really exciting. It's going to be a fantastic day, and I'll be there speaking as well, and I'll be opening the session and wrapping up at the end with some conclusions and advice for the attendees. Fantastic. So 23rd of April in London. Uh, Bob, just tell us the website, and if people want to go along, is, uh, is there a ticket price? Yep. it's uh, The website is green.scalerentals.show. And we've kept the ticket price very low at just £40 because this is not here to make money. Uh, we're here to educate the industry. So this isn't a business. This is about getting those 100 people in and helping them and really supporting them in the future. So we've kept the ticket price super low. Excellent. So there we have it then. Green.scalerentals.show, 23rd of April in London. Tickets are just £40. So if you're an STR host, you've got any interest in sustainability whatsoever, this is the event for you. Uh, Okay then, Bob, we've got a few quickfire questions to finish. (laughs) Favourite brand in the STR space Apart from your own, of course. Of course, yeah. It's got to be Touch Day. Um, I've been using Touch Day, the digital guide, uh, for many, many years. They're a super team of people. The product works brilliantly, and they're always innovating and improving it. They even have a sustainability section uh, so that hosts can put in there what they're doing and communicate that to the guests. So Andy McNulty and the whole team at Touch Day are brilliant. You can't beat them. Yep, they certainly are brilliant, and we're very proud to have them as sponsors here at Holiday Cottage Handbook. Uh, Okay, then next one, uh, an individual in the STR space that you'd like to give a shout out to and why? Yeah, I think that's got to be Damien Sheridan from Scale. Um, Damien's been super supportive of everything that I've tried to do around sustainability for a number of years and allowed me to speak at his conferences, Uh, always been interested in what he can do to build sustainability into his business. And it was actually Damien's idea to come up with Scale Green. So I take my hat off to him. Uh, He's really supportive and he's 100% behind what we're trying to do in the industry. So thank you, Damien. Great shout out for Damien there. One of the first guests we had on the podcast. Uh, Final one then, your biggest lesson learned since launching Enviro Rental. Wow. So many. (laughs) I guess if I had to pick one, I would say... It isn't all about logic and agreement. And what I mean by that is you can have the most robust uh, argument and uh, asset behind you. You People can agree with you and understand what you're saying and be 100% supportive of it. 
but it's then moving them from agreement into action. And that is one of the most difficult challenges. Everybody I speak to says, oh, yes, environmental environment. It's so such a topic. We really need to get behind it. But then moving them from that statement to the action is always the most difficult thing. And that's what I, I work out every day to try and get people over the line. Absolutely. I think uh, all of us in this industry know that feeling in, in one way or another. Totally. Uh, Bob, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a real pleasure to chat and all the best with, uh, with Scale Green. Okay, super. Thank you very much for inviting me. Take care. Fantastic to chat to Bob Garner there. Make sure you get your tickets for Scale Green on the 23rd of April in London. Head to green.scalerentals.show to get your ticket for just £40. That's just about it for this episode of the HCH podcast. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you've heard, you can help our platform massively if you subscribe, rate and review the podcast. For more free education, tips and trends from the STR industry, head to our website, where you can download our free ebook and sign up for our free newsletter. It's holidaycottagehandbook.com. If you need any mortgage support, make sure you check out HCH Financial Services. Their team of brokers have access to the very best holiday let products and can also help with other property finance. Give them a call on 0333 1234 536 or email advice at HCHFS. Dot co dot uk make sure you get your free ticket for holiday cottage handbook live on the 19th and 20th of april head to propertyinvestor.co.uk to register and download your e-ticket finally if you'd like to get in touch with the show you can email me directly james at holiday cottage that's it for now i'll speak to you soon